Hi, this is Isabel Florence and you are listening to You Are Light Podcast, a safe space where we talk about mental health and well-being. Hello lovelies, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about going sober. I'm going to talk about my experience today and then next week we're going to talk about the physio and biological effects of alcohol in the body and in the mind, which is exciting. On March the 5th, I saw this challenge online called the 75 hard and I had heard it before because my friend did it a while ago and he told me that it was life-changing and that he loved it and that he really felt like it influenced his well-being immensely. So I've moved to Portugal and I feel like I want to create better habits. This challenge was kind of like the perfect excuse. So without even doing any research, I decided, okay, tomorrow I'm going to start and we'll see what happens. And... This is the challenge. You have to do two 45 minute workouts every day. One has to be outside and they have to be separate. You have to drink one gallon of water, which is four liters. You cannot drink alcohol. You decide on a diet. I decided that I was gonna continue being vegan, obviously, and that I wasn't gonna eat any refined grains. You have to read 10 pages of a non-fiction book every day, and that's it. So for me, it didn't sound like a huge challenge because I already did a long walk in the morning with my dog. So I just needed to add an exercise of 45 minutes later in the day. I thought that the hardest part was going to be drinking so much water because I wasn't very good at drinking plenty of water during the day. And I didn't really consider the alcohol. I didn't really think of (laughs) how much it was going to change my life to be honest with you. Even though I'm someone who used to drink quite a lot, not massive amounts, and I wouldn't really get drunk to the point of collapsing or getting sick or anything like that. But I enjoyed a few glasses of wine, cooking and having dinner. I would always drink when I socialized. There was never really a question of, oh, I'm going out with people, should I drink? No, it was always like, yeah, of course I'm going to drink. It's fun. I don't have a problem, so why not, right? An interesting perspective, I guess. But anyway, I decided to do this challenge and I did it. And it was a little bit challenging at times, but not that much. I felt like the part that was most interesting to me was making a commitment to myself, making a commitment to do this not for anyone else, but for myself and not cheating myself. I think that was the biggest part that made me feel proud at the end. I never thought of excuses and I never cut down my exercise by a few minutes or decided, oh no, today I'm gonna eat a normal pizza because I'm in Rome, (laughs) which I was for the last few days, which is very upsetting. But you know, I ate wholemeal bread and it was delicious and a lot of vegetables and fantastic olive oil. So a consequence of this challenge was that at the end of it, I thought to myself, I don't actually want to stop. I just want to continue doing everything that I'm doing. And so I decided to continue. My two workouts now have turned into one, one hour workout rather than two 45 minute ones every day. And I drink between three and four liters of water rather than having to drink a gallon every day. But something that I didn't change at all was the fact that I am not drinking. And I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna go to London to see my friends and of course I'm gonna drink, why wouldn't I? Until I started to realize that I didn't really have a reason to do so. (laughs) And I think that's the beauty of awareness. When you become aware of the detriment of something in your life and you have love for yourself, it's very easy to decide to not continue a habit that's so bad for you. So some of the things that I felt as a result of going sober. And I'm not someone who has decided I'm never gonna drink again. I probably will if I feel like it. (laughs) But it actually surprises me that I haven't till now, since March. So I have felt a lot clearer in my head, in my mind, and in my body. I feel like I have a lot more time because 
I wake up earlier and I don't spend a lot of time in the evening doing activities that are surrounding just alcohol. It's so part of our culture to go out for a drink. And it means that every social activity that you participate is around the action of drinking. When you stop drinking, you realize there's so much more to life. (laughs) So for example, when I went back to London and I thought, oh, I don't actually want to drink. Me and two of my friends spend half a day in a spa, relaxing and catching up and enjoying each other and it was really wholesome and I feel like when you don't have the alcohol surrounding your interactions those interactions are actually more rooted in honesty and vulnerability alcohol helps you with social anxiety and so you end up realizing that there are things in your life that you don't have to work on because you are drinking you don't have to work on feeling completely comfortable with yourself around other people so when you don't drink when you are interacting with people you are your full self you are without the barriers and protections that the alcohol offers. Another thing that I felt from stopping drinking is that I realized that I feel I have more control over other parts of my life now. Parts that without me realizing were influenced by having a drink now and again, especially my health, my work, my relationships, my relationship to myself. The thing is that I didn't really realize all of these things before. And I think that's one of the reasons why I never tried to stop because I didn't realize how much it influenced so much in my life in a quiet way. (laughs) I think it's really helpful to try and understand what is it that you are looking for from the alcohol? Are you looking to escape? Are you looking to just relax? Are you looking for comfort in social interactions? Are you looking for numbness from your emotions? If you are self-medicating with alcohol because of your inability to deal with your emotions, it means that you will never learn how to deal with your emotions without that crutch, without that help. If you are always using alcohol to be able to feel comfortable around other people, you'll never learn how to feel comfortable with other people without the alcohol. You will always be dependent on this thing. And that's not a healthy relationship. When I stopped drinking, I also was able to understand better my friendships. It is very interesting to see people's reaction to your decision of not drinking. Especially in a culture that normalizes the ingestion of a type of poison. And I'm not trying to judge anyone. If you want to drink, that is your decision. I'm not saying I'm never going to drink again. I think it's important for us to understand that it is poisonous to our body. That that's why we feel ill. That's why it makes us feel drunk. Because of the body trying to protect itself from the poison. But when you make that decision to not do so and you observe the way that people react to the decision that you made, it becomes very clear who your real friends are. (laughs) It becomes very clear who are the people in your life rooting for you, rooting for your health, for your well-being, for the good choices that you make. And sometimes people react in a negative way, not because they don't love you, but because they feel judged in their own decision to continue drinking. And I will never judge anyone. This is an individual choice in the same way that I don't judge people that are not vegan. I don't judge people that decide to live a life that is different to mine. We all have different paths. That is beautiful and I can't tell anyone how to walk their path because I'm not in their shoes. I haven't walked the past so I don't know how to deal with the present or the future. But 
it shows you when you make that decision who really is rooting for the betterment of your life and also it solidifies your relationships because again they are no longer surrounding just drinking you end up exploring different things with the people that you love it's so crazy how accepted this habit is the habit of drinking alcohol and i think it's simply because it makes a lot of people a lot of money but we ignore the fact that it makes people aggressive it makes people less scared of taking risks and not only that but it makes you not care about the risk that you're taking and the consequences that you might face so it actually affects our society in a really horrible way from the health perspective to the amount of road accidents that it causes to how much it influences the crime rates in every city but we see it in every movie we see it in every tv show it is romanticized by society to have that gorgeous glass of wine while you cook or to enjoy cocktails with your friends when you go out or a very cold beer with your barbecue but part of me believes a little bit that drinking will become what smoking has become today a lot of younger people are deciding not to drink not to binge drink there's a lot of companies now offering non-alcoholic beer and cocktails and spirits which is really exciting now if you ask me why have i decided to continue staying sober and why i haven't had a drink since i stopped i had one beer which was very interesting. I got very drunk very quickly and I didn't feel like it was worth it. So why have I decided not to drink again? It's quite simple. I just don't want to feel bad the next day. I feel so healthy now that I want to continue in this clearness of mind and body and soul. I am also very grateful for having arrived in a point in my life where I am very comfortable with who I am and very happy with who I have become, which means that I don't feel like I need a crutch to help me in any situation because I know what I have to offer and that's the best that I can do and that's all that I can do is to try and offer the best that I can of myself to the people around me. I also don't want to run away from my feelings anymore. I want to sit with them. I want to cry when I feel sad and understand where that sadness is coming from. And I have understood that when I allow myself to do that, the emotion passes through me. It doesn't stay. It doesn't stick. And in the times of my life where I was drinking more because I didn't want to look at my emotions, those emotions were stuck in me. I also feel like I have much better sleep, less inflammation in my body. My skin feels more supple and more healthy. My hair feels very healthy. I want to feed myself with the things that are nutritionally dense, not only in the way of food, but also in the activities that I pursue and the habits that I cultivate. I am so in love with life that I want to continue to appreciate it with a clear mind, body and soul. It also feels like I have a lot more time, which is really special because I want the most amount of time I can get in this earth (laughs) because I really enjoy my time here. (laughs) So at the end of the day, it makes me feel great. So that's why I've gone sober. Let's see how long this lasts. Next week, I'm going to talk about how alcohol influences our health, our body, our mind, the physiology behind it. Because I don't understand that well, so I'm really excited to dive deep into it and share it with you. I want you to remember that this is me sharing my story and my path is different to yours. If it influences you in a good way, it will make me very grateful. But it is in no way me telling you that this is the right way to do it. This is just me sharing the way that I've been doing it. The way that I've been searching to make my light brighter every day. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Thank you so much for listening. All the links are written down on the show notes, as well as resources for anyone struggling with their mental health. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when we release new episodes. Also, feel free to share our podcast with your friends and family. And if you'd like to get involved, explore our content or support our work, visit our website www.youarelight.earth. That's y-o-u-r-light.earth. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at u.r.light. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.